little Toby. He is my smallest tree. And I had a Toby when I was a kid. And I bought him at a pet store for $6. And I love Toby so much. And I had Toby from third grade um, all the way up till my senior year of college. And unfortunately, Toby um, passed away because he got out of his tank. He's a water turtle. And uh, he dried out. <clears throat> he dried out and nobody could find him. And we finally found him. I'd been gone for like two weeks at college at KU. And he was under my bed, dried out. And it was really, really, really sad. Because I'd had him so long. And he was in my fish tank. Well, he was in the tank and the fish were in there with him. He was the primary uh, occupant, not the fish. And I loved him so much. And I got this little guy uh, about three years ago. I should probably close to four. The same shipment that I got Blackjack and Brownstone and Deadpool Domino. We got them all together from Reptile City, and they were all hatchlings. And little Tobe Tobe here um, literally was smaller than a nickel. He seriously was like the size of a dime, and I didn't think he was going to survive. Um, he's a musk turtle, or a stink pot turtle, they call him. Um, I called him a mud turtle, but uh, in high school, we called him Sternandus odoratus. And they do have some in Kansas here. They're supposedly native, but I've never seen one. And our teacher gave us points for every turtle that we could find, every reptile we could find, to take pictures or bring it in. Back in the day, I'm a herpetology class. And so a mud turtle like him was worth 10 points, which was one of the higher pointed animals. Uh, and interestingly, I'm related, but a lot of people brought in copperhead snakes <laughs> and snakes. Um, and they did relocate them back to where they were found, of course. But snakes, such as copperheads, are not ideal to have in a high school classroom setting. But we ended up having seven copperheads brought, brought up by everybody. Oh, I'm talking about little Toby. Little Toby. -to. He's the smallest turtle, and he's full grown. Oh, uh, he came in with blackjack. Do you remember? It was a long time ago. Oh, you want food? He's begging. This is what a begging turtle looks like. See how he's coming out and he's swimming and watching and real active. He wants food. Would you like a piece of food? Here, I'll give you a size reference. Okay, here's my hand. Uh, I don't have my nails done, so I apologize for that. Literally, probably the only two days of my lifetime I've not had nail polish. Seriously. Or I have on a glitter. See it. There you go. Little coat, but here's you can tell his size here. Actually world's smallest adult turtle. And these are good pet turtles because they're really, really hardy and they're really, really um, easy to feed in the sense that they have a strong feeding response. And they eat turtle pellets and turtle sticks. Back when I had my original Toby, this is Toby 2, the second. Like two hash marks. I'm like Junior. But this is Toby, my new Toby. And I named him the same Toby because he looks like Toby, my original turtle. And actually, I had my snapping turtles, Barracuda, Piranha, Jaws, and then I got Scorpion two years later. Um, it's a total of four snappers back when I was in kindergarten, and actually my dad had a snapping turtle he kept in the backyard. And then I also got Cayman, my other snapper that I had, um, probably from like high school to, into college. I set him up with a glow tank. I don't know if I'm real happy with that. I might make it a little bigger, but it doesn't really glow quite as good as I would like it in that it really doesn't glow at all. 